Hi, this is Grandpa from Grammy and Grandpa Reed, and we have a fun story today. Do you guys like superheroes? Grandpa does. Um, today is an Avengers book, and it's called Time Warp Teamwork. You guys recognize everybody on the cover? We got Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Hulk, um, <laughs> Thor, and I forgot his name, the Archer. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out in the book. Um, it's written by Alexandra West, illustrated by Diario Brizuela and Gatano Pretingo, and painted by Tommaso Macaroin. The entire Avengers Tower shook dramatically as the Avengers team practiced their combat training. Well, with one exception, while Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye, that's who it was, Hawkeye, enjoy spending hours in the training areas, Tony Stark spent most of his time in the lab. Tony was putting the finishing touches on a new proton synthesizer when he heard a shout from down the hall, Metal Man, come and battle with your fellow warriors. Great, Tommy murmured to himself. Thor made me flinch. Around now, my synthesizer is space garbage. Would you like to dispose of it, sir? Jarvis asked. Tony didn't answer. Sometimes Tony felt very different from his fellow Avengers. They all had superhuman abilities. Well, except for Black Widow and Hawkeye, but they didn't really count. Their combat skills were way beyond what any normal human could do. All Tony had was his Iron Man suit. When Tony got to the training room, the heroes were messing around. Cap was dodging Hawkeye's arrows, Black Widow had, the, had Thor by the cape, and Hulk's hand was stuck under Thor's hammer. Tony scratched his head, what am I looking at here? <laughs> Hawkeye put his arm around Tony's shoulder. Come on, Stark, lighten up. We're all just waiting for our next mission. There's no crime to stop right now. Tony shrugged Hawkeye off and marched back to his lab. Tony thought about what Hawkeye had said, no crime to stop right now. So that's where you superhumans fall short. Time, I can fix that. I just create something that's so amazing it'll change the superhero game. Over the next few days, Tony worked on combining specific elements of his Stark tech to create a powerful new tool. Tony Stark created a time machine. When the machine was finally ready for a test run, Tony suited up. He, if he was going to test out the machine, he didn't want to go in unarmed. Now in his Iron Man suit, Tony stepped into the machine. Jarvis, he commanded, set time for 2099. Calculate crime ratios and synchronize the coordinates. Yes, Mr. Stark, Jarvis replied. Just like that, Iron Man was zapped to the year 2099. Get down, someone shouted, looking around. Iron Man quickly assessed the situation. The Shitari were attacking a group of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Easy, Iron Man said. The hero sprang into action, swiftly taking down the Shitari with blasts from his gauntlets. When they were defeated, Iron Man hit a button on his wrist and he was back in his lab a few moments later. That afternoon, Iron Man called Avengers into his lab to reveal his amazing new invention. I'm not so sure about this, Captain America said. Time travel is a dangerous game. Believe me, I was frozen in a block of ice for almost 70 years. This is not something to, be, to take lightly. Iron Man's temper flared. No kidding, man, old man. I don't take being a superhero lightly. Unlike some people, Captain America's eyes narrowed. Being a hero takes hard work. There are no shortcuts, but hey, you know that. You know what? How does everyone else feel about it? This is a democracy after all. Thor stepped forward smirking. I'm, I'm willing to try this new method. Hawkeye and I wouldn't mind a new challenge, Black Widow said. Hulk smash, Hulk shouted in agreement. Then it is settled. Iron Man said, 
Everyone prepare to be assigned your new missions. Black Widow and Hawkeye Jar Jarvis announced, prepare to travel to 1840. The pair were suddenly outside Buckingham Palace. Queen Victoria was riding by when Black Widow spotted a mysterious man trying to attack the queen. Using their stealth and speed, the heroes took down the attacker. Then, with a push of a button, they were back in the lab. Captain America, Hulk, and Thor, Jarvis announced, prepared to travel to the year 4029. The heroes zoomed forward in time and were thrown into a battle with a pack of evil cybermetic wolves. Thor, Cap shouted, stop howling. Never, Thor shouted back at the, as he took down another wolf. Ah, woo! After defeating the robots, they zapped back to the lab. The heroes did all did this all day, completing mission after mission. All right, Jarvis, give me a good one, Iron Man sh shouted. The time machine rattled violently, too violently. Then Iron Man was in the year 1792. A masked man rounded the corner using his blasters to destroy a local village. Iron Man smirked, easy. Iron Man fired his repulsors, but the villain skillfully dodged the blasts. Annoyed, Iron Man stood right in the man's path. The masked rider charged. They both aimed their weapons and fired. Iron Man opened his eyes. He was on the ground. He sat up and looked around. Then he saw the villain around the corner again. So Iron Man got up and stood in the man's path. They both aimed their weapons and fired again. Iron Man opened his eyes. He was on the ground. He sat up and looked around. Was I dreaming, he said. I'm having major deja vu. Then he saw the masked man round the corner again. Iron Man kept trying to defeat the villain, but no matter how many times he tried, he kept getting hit. Iron Man opened his eyes again. He was on the ground again. He sat up and he looked around again. Just like clockwork, the masked man rounded the corner. Again, this is impossible, Iron Man said to himself. I'm stuck in a time loop. Back in the lab, the heroes were waiting for Iron Man to return. It had been a strange day. All the time traveling was getting a little disorienting. Jarvis, Captain America said, locate Iron Man. Jarvis was silent, then said, location unavailable. Worried, the heroes poured over Tony's notes. The teammate was missing, and they had no idea where or when he could be, where he, when or where he could be. I think I found something, Black Widow called out. She had found the original schematic for the time machine. If we short circuit the motherboard, the machine will create a time portal just long enough to pull him back through. Black Widow pointed her gauntlets at the machine, destroying the circuitry. Suddenly, the portal opened into the strange desert scene. Cap leaped into action. I'm coming, buddy. The masked man was about to blast Iron Man again, but Captain America jumped through the portal and flew in front of Iron Man just in time. He protected him with his vibranium shield. Pew, pew! The blast hit Cap's shield and bounced off. Oof, the villain cried out in surprise. The powerful beams in the hit the man hard, knocking him off his horse. Finally, Iron Man said that when he saw his teammates, I thought I'd be stuck on repeat forever. Captain America laughed as they quickly tied up the man. Suddenly, the edges of the portal began to shimmer. Cap, Iron Man, hurry or you'll be stuck. Hawkeye shouted. Cap's eyes widened with panic. Come on, Tony. We need to get back to the present day. Hold on. Let me get my souvenir, Iron Man said, grabbing the bound villain. Just as the portal was about to close, Cap and Iron Man jumped through with the villain in tow. Captain America had successfully rescued Iron Man from the tire time warp. With the time machine broken beyond repair, the heroes sat around the lab, recounting their time travel adventures. When it was his turn, Tony looked around his, at his friends. Thanks, everyone, for saving me back there, he said. Especially you, Cap. 
You were right. Time travel isn't something to take lightly. Cap put his arm around his friend. Good advice, even from an old man like me. <laughs> oh, I hope you liked that story. If you did, smash the like button down below. Give us a big thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, Grammy and Grandpa Read, and um, watch the playlist for superheroes. Thanks.